shallow one. First and foremost, I'd give all the reasons to more and I'm two. So you have one flash in, you have a shab or hashem, karkadash. Uh, shallow one to the uh, elders, Bahakim, Bahakwa, to the heavenly father's true name is uh, Yahweh. His only begotten son, Baha Shem, in the name of Mashiach Havashah. Those are their true names and the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one to pass the whole time. And this is a, a walk and talk lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Matthew's the 24 chapter that I'm about to get into. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 1. And Mashiach went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came in to him to show him the buildings of the temple. Matthew's 24 and verse 2, and it reads, And Hamashiach say unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you. It says, There shall not be left one stone upon another, and there shall not be thrown down. This is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 3. It says, And he sat in the mock. It says, And he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came to him privately to him, telling us, When shall these things be? And one should be the sign of thy coming, and other in the world. And the, and the disciples <coughs> actually, I was shy that question once they had that private meeting during it. And our Lord and our Savior, so I was shy to have a shy time, you know. And I'm going to read it again. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 3, and it reads, And as he sat in the pomp in the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And one should be the sign of thy coming, and other in the world. And Yahushua replied to the disciples and said, And Hamashiach, Matthew 24, verse 4, and it reads, And Hamashiach answered and said, Unto them take heed that no man deceive you. Matthew 24, and verse 5, For many should come in my name, saying, Ah, yeah, Hamashiach, and shall deceive me. That's what we are taking heed to this day as well, too. Take heed that no man deceive you. Because, like it says, the book of Daniel says, Knowledge shall increase, you know. But then again, you know, we don't want to get tossed to and fro with different winds of doctrine. Because like scripture says, John 8, 32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. This is the book of I, uh, continuing on, Salaki. I'm going to start at verse 5 again. This is, uh, this is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall receive many. This is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and bones of wars. See that you be not troubled for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. And that's what we're seeing in the world today. You know, these uh, wars and bones of wars heating up, you know. Matthew's. This is, uh, I'm waiting for this to go past. Twenty-four and verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled for all these things. It says, "But to come to pass, but the end is not yet." Matthew twenty-four and verse seven, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right. So we see in the uh, earthquakes in diverse places, the famines, the pestilence, and plagues, uh, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Matthew 24 and verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So these are the increasing stages that we see in the world today. That's in the categories of biblical signs. And these prophecies that's about to be fulfilled as well, too. So these are just the beginning stages of the increasing biblical signs of sorrow. Matthew 24 and verse 9, then they shall deliver you up. Let me show you. Yeah. It says, uh, then they shall deliver you up and be afflicted, and they shall heal you, and ye shall be hated of all nations. For my name, sake. Matthew 24 and verse 10, it says, And then shall many be offended, and they shall betray one another, and they shall hate one another. Right, as we've seen in the world today. Uh, verse 11, Matthew 24, verse 11, and many, this is a lot of you. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 11, and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive me. This is a, it's a lot of you, wait for that go fast. Um, this is uh, Matthew. I'm going to start at verse 11 again. This is the book of Matthew, 
chapter 24, verse 11, and it reads, And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. This is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 12, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall rise whole. Matthew 24, verse 13, for he shall, for he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this is uh, Matthew 24, verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness. Then the end shall come, right? The second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 5, the beginning of the end, the end is being manifested with these increasing biblical signs. Because the uh, evil, wicked rulership is coming to naught. Just like it says in uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, but with the basis of the just there we go. First Maccabees 3 and 48, he paint the likeness of his image, you know. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 2, it says, uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, you know. So that's why we see seeing the uh, increasing end signs of an evil, wicked rulership, you know. Because Revelation 12 and 12, the ultimate she should come down with great wrath because he only have in a short time. And this is a... Uh, Matthew 24 and verse 14. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness, and to all nations, and the end shall come. Right, that's what we're seeing, you know. Because the Heavenly Father is raising up uh, raising up his men, the Israelite men, the actual descendants of the Israelites in the latter days, you know. It says uh Matthew. This is uh Matthew 24, verse 15. And it says, uh, it says, uh, ye, uh, therefore, so see the abominations of the lesson spoken by, uh, uh our great forefather Daniel the prophet in standing in a holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. This is, uh, Matthew 24 and 16. It says, then let him which be in, a, in Judea flee into the mountains. This is, uh, Matthew 24 verse 17. It says, let him which is of the house top not come down and take anything out of the house. Right, and this is similar scriptures to Luke the 21st chapter and uh, Matthew's the 24th chapter and Mark the 13th chapter as well too. And this is a uh, continuing on read verse 17 again. This is a uh, uh, Matthew's 24 verse 17. It says, let him which is up the house top not come down until take anything out of the house. Verse 18, neither let him which is of the field return back to his clothes. Matthew 24 and verse 19, and it reads, and woe unto them that are with child and that them that get sucked into those days. Matthew 24 and verse 20, and it reads, it says, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. This is a uh, this is a uh, Matthew twenty four verse twenty one. But then shall be great tribulation, was not since the beginning of this world, nor ever shall be. Right to the world to this, nor ever shall be. I'm gonna read it again, Salakia. Matthew twenty four verse twenty one. For then shall be great tribulation, was such not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. This is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 22. It says, except though they shall be short, they shall be no flesh be saved. For the elect's sake, those shall be short. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 23. Then if any man shall be saved, you low, he is in Hamashiach, or there believe it not. Matthew 24, verse 24, and it reads, for there shall be it says, uh, for there shall arise false Amashiachs, and false prophets shall be great signs and wonders, and almost that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. This is uh, Matthew 24, and verse 25. It says, behold, I told you before, uh, verse 26. It says, Matthew 24, verse 26. It says, well, for if they shall be, I mean, Salakia, Matthew 24 and verse 26, it says, Wherefore, if they say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth, behold, he is in the secret chambers. It says, Believe it not. Matthew 24 and verse 27, it says, For like Matthew 24. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 27. 
for light. It says, for as the light is coming of the east, shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 28, and it reads, it says, for wherefore the carcasses that shall be the eagles be gathered together. And this is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 39. Immediately after those uh, Salaki. Uh, Matthew 24 and verse, excuse me, brother. This is uh, Matthew 24 verse 29. Immediately after the great tribulation, in those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall be given her light and there shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken this is uh matthew 24 and verse 30 and it, this is uh matthew 24 and verse 30 it says then shall appear the sign uh, of the son of the man of heaven there shall be salakia matthew 24 and verse 30 then shall appear the sign of the son of the man of heaven then shall it be the tribes of the earth shall mourn they shall shall see the Son of Man come in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Matthew 24 31. He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, uh, one end of the heaven to the other. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it uh, forth the leaves you know that summer is uh, not. <clears throat> Matthew 24 and verse 33 it says uh, so likewise ye when ye shall see all things know that is near even at the door. Matthew 24 and verse 34 verily I say unto you this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled this is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 36. Right, so the words of the Heavenly Father shall not pass away. Even heaven and earth might pass away, but the words of the Heavenly Father shall stand, stand, you know, because he's the uh, ancient of days. But uh, continuing on, this is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 35. It says heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. This is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 36. But of the day and the hour knoweth, but no man know the angels of heaven, but Father alone. It says, uh, right, just like First Thessalonians 5 and 2. Amashiach and Habashiach shall come as a thief in the night. That's why the Heavenly Father had us made us a watchman unto the house of Israel. We are the actual Israelites. But continuing on, this is uh, Matthew 24, verse 37, and it reads, it says, But as the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew 24, and verse 37, it says, But as the days, so I can, Matthew 24, verse 37, But as the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew 24, and verse 38. It says, for as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marriage and giving into marriage until that Noah entered the ark. Matthew 24, verse 39, it says, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew 24, and verse uh, 40. Then shall two be in the field, <coughs> shallock, and one shall be taken, the other shall be left. Matthew 24, verse 21, and it reads, and it says, uh, and it says, and, uh, my apologies. This is, uh, Matthew's, this is, uh, Matthew's 24, verse 41. It says, the two women shall be grinding at the mill, and one shall be taken, and the other left. This is, uh, Matthew 24, verse 42. It says, watch ye therefore, for you know not what hour the Lord thy comes. Matthew 24 and verse 43 and it reads, but know this that if the good men of the house know what watch their watch the thief would come in and would have watch 
they will, he would have not suffered his house to be broken. Matthew 24, verse um, 44. Therefore, ye be also ready for such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 45. It says, who, who then is a faithful and wise servant who his Lord has made ruler of his household and to give him meat in due season? Uh, Matthew 24 and verse 46, it says, Blessed is thy servant who is Lord, will he come and shall find doing. Matthew 24 and verse uh, 47, Verily I say unto you, that he shall make the ruler of all, all, all his goods. It says, But if that evil servant shall be saying in his heart, my Lord, the day is coming. Matthew 24 and verse 49. It says, uh, so shall begin to smite his fellow servants and, and to drink with, his, with the drunken. Matthew 24 and verse 50. The Lord of thy servants shall come in the day that he look not for him in the hour that he is not aware of. Matthew 24 verse 51. For shall he cut him with some in the court of his portion with the hypocrites, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So with that, hopefully this lesson was uh, edifying, Salakia, for it being long, because <laughs> I was reading the math throughout the whole Matthew's the 24th chapter. So hopefully this lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Matthew's 24, verse 1, all the way into uh, verse... 51. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to say Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Bakadash, and the Heavenly Father. The true name is uh, Yahweh, and it's only we got Son, Bahashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one, Kadash, the Holy Tongue. And Shalom to the elders, Wa'aki and Wa'akwa. Until next time, I will say Shalom.